achieved their highest finish in the National League the season after that, their first season at this level. Aldershot, other side in better shape, though. Set up nicely this hour. Kwame Thomas, but they're expecting big things of him at Aldershot. An early opportunity from the set piece. Thomas was one of those in there. He's travelling from Frost. Another ball into the box. Rowe was forward, and it's comfortable in the end for Joe McDonald. Barlow, former Manchester United trainee. Enzio Baldwin getting on the turn. And it's pushed wide by Jordi van Stampershoef. It's been a decent start from the home team. Playing with a purpose. Baldwin there just picks up a little good position inside rope. I think it's just one of the awkward one for the goalkeeper. Just bounces in front of you. Maybe a routine shot there. I guess to play devil's advocate though, Adam, yes, you have to look back at the end of last season as well, but for Lee Bradbury, it's basically starting with not an entirely new team, but they've made a lot of signings over the summer. It was a big overhaul, and they could be in behind here with Barlow. Van Stappershoef came out to meet him. Oh, goodness me. Van Stappershoef rushing out, and he's going to be sent off here. Well, the referee was right up with play. And I guess you could describe it perhaps as a rush of blood to the head once he came out of his goal. He had to get there, didn't he? People running out at you. You know that you have to be brave and go into an area where you're going to get hit. The goalkeeper hesitates slightly. It's reckless, isn't it? The goaler there, is he covering enough there? Big concern here, really big concern for Aldershot is that they've had their goalkeeper sent off and they've chosen not to have a reserve goalkeeper on the bench. So an outfield player is going to have to go in goal. Seven, or if there are six, that you've got your goalkeeper on the bench. Well, the player who's coming on here and is going in goal is Laurent Tollage, who was signed from Brighton in the summer. Had a dream debut against Oxford City. He scored twice on his debut. He's got an absolute wand of a left foot forward player. It looks like it's going to be Chris Maguire. Oh, and off the bar and in! And the first act of Tolash is to pick the ball out of the back of the net. Chris Maguire with the free kick. His first goal for the Spitfire who lead 1-0. understand why the wall stands there and they don't jump I just never understand it but take nothing away from the quality I mean to get it up and over the wall like that takes real brilliance from a quality player Baldwin Hodgson backed up here by Barlow and well, Barlow, nice ball to Baldwin. Barlow might want it back. Quickly. Surely a shoot on site policy here. Yeah, he's done well again there. He fancies himself as a keeper, doesn't he? We can hear the crowd every time easily up. 25 yards from goal to his shoot. Taylor there with a chance there. Good handling, but they've slowly gone under the radar. Started the season brilliantly. Good ball over to Barlow. And Wabuke is urged to shoot. And gets the chance again and puts it wide. I thought he lost the opportunity to get that shot off when he came to the edge of the box for him. Cuts inside Frost brilliantly. I think he'd be disappointed. He's got the space there to see the shot towards goal. Just cuts across it slightly, not to hit the target. Slightly disappointed with that, albeit on his left foot. And they put the goalkeeper under pressure here. Maguire floats it in, and it's a second. Enzio Baldwin was in there. 
really good ball in to pick him out. And Baldwin has his second of the season. There was nothing that the emergency goalkeeper could have done about that. There's nothing he could have done about it, but there's certainly something his team could have done about it. Really, really poor marking. There's no excuse for this goal, even when you are down to 10 players. It's Frost that's marking him. He just pushes him away there. Just gets that bit of space to direct the header towards goal. It's a brilliant ball in there from Maguire, I have to say. So it's an important period of the game now. I think that second goal would have just relieved them slightly, but as he did mention, they need to try and get a few more shots and open play on target. It's not down here to Baldwin. Easy finish. Second for Enzio Baldwin. Very composed and confident in front of goal. And they are home and host now, aren't they? Eastley 3 0 up the Spitfires and heading for their first victory of the season. Quigley just really brushes Angola out with strength. I've no idea where he's going with that diagonal as well. It creates a space there for Baldwin to run into. And it's a cool, composed finish from him for the second of the game. The both centre halves there don't do anywhere near enough to stop the head up and also stop the run through. Frost. Harris. Eastley season truly up and running.